what's going on everybody dj Coham here welcome back to the channel let's find some news man Today, there was no update to the testing list, nor any new mods because Giants is out of the office. We're going to take a look at what happened with Giants' April Fool's Day prank yesterday. JHHG Modding has a fact sheet for their DB120. Custom Modding show off a new Case IH mod. Connect Modding are working on a Case IH Cotton Harvester. JA Modding shows new progress on one of the mods coming with the Jacko DLC. RNL Modding are bringing a new brand in game. Sir Vertex has a new sugarcane trailer. Plus, we're going to put our tinfoil hats on and talk about a possible new DLC. Let's check it out. There was no update to the testing list, nor any new mods today, because Giants are out of the office till Tuesday, so nothing new today or Monday. I will be streaming the Farm Sim Show here on the channel today at 3 p.m. Eastern, and I have a gameplay live stream planned for Monday as well, though the time for Monday is unknown as of right now. Also, while we're here, there will be no Farm Sim news and maybe even no new mod video next Wednesday, as I will be doing some inspections on my new home that I'm going to be buying and won't be able to record much that day, if at all. As always, I like to keep you guys updated on everything going on so that you know what to expect. But that being said, let's jump into today's top stories. And we start with Giants April Fool's prank on us yesterday. Turns out Grass Grower Simulator Battle Royale was you as a blade of grass, not as a cow. That's my bad. And the live stream that we showed off, well, that lasted almost 10 hours total. Benjamin got down to the final few thousand, but was unfortunately pooed on by a cow. Rip. <laughs> Next up today, we have a fact sheet from JHHG Modding on the John Deere DB120 48 Road Planter. This is going to cost you $345,000, lease a cost of $17,595, as a working width of 36.5 meters will require 370 horsepower to run, has a capacity between 3,524 and 4,404 liters of seed and liquid fertilizer, has a max working speed of 15 kilometers around nine miles per hour, plant corn, soy, fl or soy flour, soy <laughs> sunflowers, soybeans, sugar beets, and cotton, and works with not only the side quest tanks, but also the Lizard 1600 Trail Fertilizer Tank. This is a mod that has been many for all platforms, and there's currently no release date. Custom modding showcases the next chapter of their Red Farm project, the Case IH Tiger Mate 255 Field Cultivator for all platforms. They do say that the feedback from their Case IH 2150 has been incredible, and yes, they already have an update that is with Giants for testing. As of yesterday, it was being tested, though we know we're not seeing anything today or or Monday, so maybe till Tuesday before we see that update. So with that, the next red machine, Tiger Mate 255. Custom modding say that it is already in game and are now working on the animations, but what's new with this mod? Well, they say that it'll have a working width of 18.5 meters. We use Firestone Destination and the new Goodyear 380-60R 16.5 tires, though these will likely be rebranded for console use. There will be an optional rear hitch to attach rollers or whatever you want to on the bank, and it will require between 450 and 580 horsepower depending on the conditions and terrain of the area needed to be worked. They finished by saying that the modeling, UV map, textures, Giants editor, and in-game progress is all at 100%, with the XML and animations being about halfway finished. A few months ago, Connect Modding teased an update of sorts for the Brazilian Cotton Pack, and with that was the hint of a red machine. Well, today they say that work has started on the Case IH 2555 Cotton Harvester project, but they need your help. They've set up a channel on their Discord for people to post pictures and information on the mod to help them make this as realistic as possible. If you want to help them out or join the Connect Modding Discord, check out the link below beside Connect Discord. JA Modding shows off one of the mods coming with the Jatco DLC Equipment Pack, the Uniport 5030 NPK Self-Propelled Fertilizer Spreader. This machine will have a capacity of 5,000 liters with an application rate of up to 50 meters. The directional Unitrack allows for fast and precise handling, offering greater efficiency and less time turning around at the ends. The Jatco DLC Equipment Pack will be a free pack of mods released just like any other mod on the Mod Hub. However, this is still in the early stages of development. RNL Modding Team has something new for us today, the Ryder 1200 Caffini. They say if they've started the project off recently with the intention of releasing it on all platforms once completed. This is a self-propelled pulverizer, though the translations with things like this could be a bit rough. Thanks, Facebook. I did a bit of research, and it looks like Caffini specialized in sprayers of all kinds. So that's exactly what we're seeing here self-propelled sprayer. I'm always down for new equipment. I say bring it on. Servertex has a new screenshot of their next mod, the TAC 10500. 
This will be a new sugarcane transport trailer to keep their other one, the Giant 22,000 trailer, some company. I imagine that once completed, they're both going to look very similar. The 22,000 is one of my favorite looking sugarcane trailers in game, so I can't wait to see what they do with this one. And lastly today, time to put your tinfoil hats back on, because the Steam database for PC is showing an unknown DLC for Farming Simulator 19, codenamed DLCL. There's a few things this could be, but you should first know that this doesn't mean that there's going to be new DLC, though it is very likely with this showing. Simulag Friends were the first ones to report on this, so leave a link to them in the description below. Make sure you check them out because they have tons of great stuff going on. Uh, at least from what I've been able to see, this could possibly be Labouche, Laylee, Limkin, Linder, um, or La Campaign, at least that they've put. There are other L brands out there, so what do you think it could be? It also could be something completely different and the letter L would just be a placeholder. Generally, I don't report on speculation like this because there's just no solid information. So I'll normally stay away from it, though I thought I would share it because it's kind of cool. And anyway, you might have a better idea on this than I would. Whatever you think it might be, post your predictions in the comment section below. And post your predictions on if you think I've changed the outro or not down there below as well. Heads up, I have not. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be done. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Bye. Tell you what, Mother Nature really got me good yesterday. It snowed all day. What?